right, all right. Hey, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Welcome to Gunt Wave. Uh, co-host tonight is uh, is uh, this bottle right here, this uh, Maker's Mark. <laughs> Maker's Mark. Uh, no, no, I'm just joking. No, we actually have Tux here, the guy who created the uh, Mario 64 mod, Gunt 64. I know how much you guys love when I have a co-host. <laughs> hey, uh, how's it going, Tux? It's going, man. Been uh, did the stream today, working on the, uh, the trash burger level. It was pretty fun. Trash burger level. That's my, yeah, the uh, the level where he's at the Shell gas station. <laughs> That's good. I've been working on. Uh, That's good. I've been working on modeling that in Blender today, so that was pretty fun. Got a good amount of little little bit of engagement. That's pretty good, yeah. man. So okay, yeah. so we're we're gonna definitely get into this Gun Sixty Four thing and how you got involved in it. It seems. Out of all the projects you could have, like like you 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 dedicated on uh, a logging on the gunt in a way that no one else has, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, most a logs are just like talking shit, talking trash, whatever, spewing whatever they can about them, to, trying to have fun as possible. You were actually creating something that people could play and people could like, uh, you know, I, I don't know, man. Yeah. It's like, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Um, I really enjoy it. I've, I've been having a great time doing it. Now, before we get into that, I also want to pick your brain about um, the recent happenings. When I say recent happenings uh, with the gun, I'm talking about, um, did, did you catch the stream with uh, Mr. Medeker and uh, Ethan Ralph? Oh, yeah. I actually recently uh, included, uh, so the builds that I'm working with right now, it's not in the uh, pre-Ralpha build. It's uh, some new changes. I, uh, I added the, uh, the, it's not true, uh, as <laughs> a triple jump sound. So, yeah, no, that was a great stream. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that's cool. Got, I even got a little name drop. Uh, I think, uh, who was it? King of Paul had a little schizophrenic moment. He mentioned me. That was pretty funny. Mentioned hey, that's cool. Axel. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> in, in a good way? Did he drop your name in a good way? Because when he dropped Axel's no. name. Oh, no? Oh, okay. I, look, I don't. I, is there some. Is there some. Is there some drama I should know about? <laughs> I mean, it's just it's just King of Paul being King of Paul. Okay. I mean, honestly, okay. Like, I mean, he's right when he says Axel I, could possibly be a. Uh, uh, you know, a child you know. monster. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know. <laughs> uh, you never know. Yeah. But, yeah. We, he made some jokes when I came on his stream. And uh, he's like, oh, Tux. He, like, slid in my DMs when I was, uh, I was, he's like, oh, you're the guy that's working on this game. And then he's like, and then the topic changes. He changes the topic. He's like, so I hear you hang with DJ Axel. Ah, uh, so that's Did what he is. Guilt by association. Say? Well, he's going to hate yeah. me, then. He's going to hate me because this Friday, uh, <laughs> Axel and I are going to do a very interesting stream. <laughs> oh, God. That's going to be fun. That's yeah. going to be fun. All right. All right. So, um, all right. So, what are your thoughts on the uh, the Boulder Talk Radio uh, hog slaughter? Okay. What were your thoughts on that? I think Jim honestly went really easy on him. He could have yeah, been he so much worse. <laughs> yeah. It's, like you, it's like, like you felt sorry for him. Yeah, truly. Like, it was uh, it was something else. But yeah, it was kind of funny because, like, I mean, at the beginning, he was, like, full attack mode. And then uh, towards the towards the middle to the end, he just kind of, I think he was, like, trying not to cry. So it was kind of rough. Dude, that was the best part. When he was holding back the tears, that was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, I, I think even the quartering was uh, tweeting out how that was too much, that it's getting too real. But it's like, no, man. That, no, that's, go harder. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm a greasy motherfucker. You know? <laughs> oh, you know, oh, got a got a super chat here from the Cancer Man. All right, Dead Man, did you leave corn cobs on the uh, Ralph store? Oh, that reminds me, we <laughs> got to play something. We have to play something. Um, oh yeah. Okay. Now the way my setup works, Tux, is you're gonna hear it. You're not gonna see it, but you're gonna hear it just fine. All right. Yeah. Let me uh, make sure the volume is cranked up. Yeah, it's cranked up. All right, you're gonna be able to hear this thing just fine. Here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, let All me go right. ahead and play this. I'm gonna put it on the screen too. After uh, one... Dead Man, did you leave corn cobs on Ralph door? <laughs> well, well, we'll answer that real sec for a sec. Well, the internet. This is your narrator, Dandy, and today I bring you you all a special treat. Today I decided to visit Richmond, Virginia, <laughs> and drop off some presents for Mr. Ethan Ralph. Oh, yeah. That's right, people. The gun. As we know, he was returning home from Portugal today there after a Gun's completely house. failed trip. It all backfired. Hey, he there's his truck. Andy Worski, but it That's his new failed. truck. 
It was God's plan, people. God's plan. Wait, so anyhow, I oh, picked Ralph nice up, his favorite movie, Children of the Corn, his favorite vegetable, corn, and his favorite fruit, kiwi. Ralph, you and your <laughs> pedophile fiance are both losers. Just give it up. Give up everything. And also, <laughs> shout out to Josh Moon, PPP, Andy Worski, <laughs> Mr. Medicare, Kiwi Farms, Kino Casino, and all you other great streamers out there. Ralph, you'll always be a loser. You'll Fuck always you. be a loser. Okay, okay. Hello? Now, now, now there's something else I need to play. It's Jesse uh, P.S. of Pot Awful. Um, uh, he did something. He might have revealed something. So I'm going to play this, this, this clip here. Bobs, I all do right. know the answer. And I was originally going to save this for the after show. Um, we still got plenty to talk about in there when it comes to the police. But um, I'm so nice and I'm feeling like in such a good mood. I had so much fun on this stream last night. You're about to see it. Uh, I'm going to give this one away to you for free. I did find... All right, he's about to reveal. He's about to reveal who was right. the person responsible for dropping the corn. Find out who did the corn cobs. Are you ready? Actually, let's get a drum roll. I don't think I have one pre-programmed anymore. I got to do that. Drum roll, please. I got excited, very excited to see all of this. The person who left the corn cobs is who is legally responsible for this crime of vandalism and littering is 100% When does this fucking end? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, shit. You want to know? Mr. Dead Man. What? <laughs> what? I was exposed. I was exposed. I thought oh, it was no. going to be a secret, man. I, that, how, how did he know? Was it was it the voice? Oh, man. Who, who, <laughs> who told him it was me? Who told him it was me? Crazy, I want to dude. chat. Who who told Jesse P.S. that it was me? That that makes no sense. I, you know, that means um, that means there's a rat, there's a mole in uh, one of the Discord servers that I'm in, and they uh, they reported it. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. Man, I can't believe that. Mm. Mm. And I think he says that I I copied him. Well, you know, as inspiration, inspiration. You know, that's what, how it works. I can't go into too many details. Uh, my, my my lawyer told me that it's probably in my best interest to not talk about this. But I took a shit in the back of his truck. I tried to do it inside his truck, but it was locked. And I'm not <laughs> going to break into it, you know. Um, so there's that. Okay. So. Anyway. Uh, moving on. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So there's that. That. <laughs> that was a hilarious part, by the way, on the Boulder Talk Radio. When he was like, people were leaving shit in my front door. He's like, by shit, you mean literal shit? Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, corn. <laughs> corn. He didn't say the kiwis, though. He noticed the corn. <laughs> he, didn't notice, he didn't say anything about the DVD, about the movie, The Children of the Corn. Okay. Children of the Corn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, you think about it, uh, all these A logs are doing everything they can to help support Ethan Ralph and Pantsu with the free diapers, which are expensive, like, you know, like, what, 50 bucks worth of diapers. And then a movie, mm -hmm. date night with corn, popcorn, right? date night. Dude, like, Ethan, right now, he plays the cards right. He doesn't have to spend money on diapers anymore. He's not going to need uh, anything, really. He has it all it's set. Completely off the hook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Deadman, you are the new gun father now. I and I guess I guess I am. Wait, am I? Does that make me Gunt's dad? Deadman, you are the new <laughs> Gunt father now. Farther. Farther, Far, farther now. Oh. Hmm. Well. You've gone farther than any Gunt has ever gone before. Ah, I see. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was risky. <laughs> I didn't think I would get uh, my uh. 
my motorcycle up there. I was a little worried, but we did it. We did it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I revealed that. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for, uh, for taking a stare. Now, um, <clears throat> there were some things afterwards, after uh, the Medicare, uh ethan Ralph discussion, discussion it was like a slaughter it was a it was ethan trying so hard to uh daddy jim why are you making fun of me why are you making fun of me why 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 uh uh, the rage pig man yeah the rage rage pig that was good um my favorite part was when he was like um like, why are you going after gator like like it's not the doxing thing it's a life ruination why do you want to ruin his life it, it, like, Ethan couldn't rationalize that. And my thing is, you can't rationalize w- with a drunk like that, with someone whose whose brain is so, so uh, on a ruined by alcohol and yeah. zany berries. Yeah. Zany berries. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he can't comprehend. But then he does say something that he views his life, like his um his podcast, there's a kill stream as his livelihood. And anytime we make fun of him, anytime we do the little. It reminds people how much of a fuck he is, and I guess it ruins him or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now he wants revenge. So my question for you, uh, Tux, and and for the chat is: Do you think Ethan Ralph has what it takes to actually go to Gator's house? Do you think he I does? I don't know. I think he wants to. I don't know. Is the uh, so it's been confirmed that is the I don't know. I so I haven't like. I haven't really looked into like the so it was it was Zoom that released the docs. Yes, it was Zoom, but Ethan had a hand in it. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure I he know. did. Uh, I do. I think he could absolutely. I. We're just gonna have to see it. It's just crazy. Right. I mean, yeah, everything the gun's done is defied all logic. So you know, he just might do it. He just might do it. Right. Right. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Because he did yeah. go to Portugal for for no reason other than to own Andy Worski. So what's <laughs> yeah. going to stop stop him from just driving down to wherever? I don't want to see Gator's docks or where he lives. What's going to stop him from going over there, and then going yeah, further, I mean, knocking what... on the door? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I don't know. I don't. I mean, it take uh, take some kind of intervention. I think that the corn, the gods of the corn, have have. Uh, just very displeased or they just want their harvest you know i think that we need our pig to keep giving us a harvest yes yes we uh, do we do need our pig and and that's another thing too i think some people are confused out there there's one particular guy who goes by the name the dymo or whatever he's a little confused he thinks (laughs) he thinks we want him he thinks we want him dead or in jail i don't want him in jail and i don't want him dead uh, once <laughs> Ethan Ralph is in jail, Guntwave is what? What are we going to do? Cover Mersh? I mean, that's essentially what yeah. it was going to be, Mersh and Gunt. But, I mean, Ethan, Ethan's been top bill. I mean, mm-hmm. Mersh, I, 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 I mean, I have things I want to say about him. But, like, I don't know if I'm going to get to it until, like, maybe next week. We'll see. But, yeah, I don't want him in jail. And I don't want him dead. I want him alive. I want him to thrive. Mm-hmm. I want him to live. Right now he's doing a stream. I saw that uh, Ethan Ralph fired up the kill stream, and um, Bibble is still there. Bibble, the house mm. nigger, he's still yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, can I say that? Can I say the uh-uh. n word? I know Joe Rogan apologized oh. for the n word, and that's what he's doing right now. Hey guys, guys, if you want to watch the kill stream for what Ethan Ralph is covering, let me just say right now he's talking about Joe Rogan apologizing for saying the n word. Let me let me give you a. The, the, the real take on that. Joe Rogan's a fucking pussy, a beta bitch for doing yeah. that. What's happening is Spotify. I was amazed. Pro- yeah. Spotify has his nuts. He has his nuts. He's been castrated. He's neutered. He's, um, like you. They give you that money, but there's strings attached to that money. <laughs> okay. Yep. There's strings attached, and dude, someone has him. He shook. Mm-hmm. He's done. He's compromised. Really. Completely. He's compromised. There you go. There you go. There, there's, yeah. there's the take you need. Hmm. I just hope he can have Sam Hyde on. That's that's all I want. Yeah. That's all he needs to do. Yeah. You know, I think that would redeem him. If he if he brought Sam on, I think that he might be able to redeem himself for apologizing for saying the N word. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. I mean, if if I Dubs is going to do that documentary, then I think I think he should. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But see, having Sam Hyde, dude, I think Sam Hyde would totally mess with Joe, like because it'd Joe, be hilarious, dude. It would be, it would be a great conversation, right? <laughs> because like Joe's like yeah. casual flow conversation. I think Sam Hyde can create like a fake narrative, fake character for the whole thing. And and if they're yep. both stoned out of their mind, it'd be like, okay, what what what's going on? What's real anymore? It's so fucking meta, so fucking deep in it. We don't even know. Oh god. Oh man. All right, now we are going to get into how you got started with the Gun Sixty Four. Um, you know what your how you got involved with the gun because I like getting the, the you know people's story here. Um, other highlights, other thing we need to talk about from because the fallout of uh, Mr. Medicare and uh, Ethan Ralph there. Um, do you have any thoughts about what happened afterwards after Ethan Ralph fled? He ran away from uh, from Matt Jarbo from Monday Matt asking him about his flagging yeah. history. He just fled like a little bitch. You mean like uh, the gym part of the convert? convo or like just everything afterwards everything the afterwards it, there's a lot afterwards there's like three hours there's a lot of four hours of stuff afterwards but not all of it is necessarily noteworthy but there's um i mean yeah. everyone's on when i say everyone i mean all the i guess big name yeah A-logs, but keemstar was even on yeah keemstar was on weird. he seemed confused it was really funny it was really funny seeing uh for some reason, Vito came on, and everyone was just like, and then he took a break from shitting on the gun to like just dogpile on Vito, and that was hilarious. It was such that was a good great. Show. That was great. <laughs> he he he'll so be the next locale yeah. after after uh, Ethan Ralph. I'll, I'll I'll start milking him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh Vito's yeah. gonna be great. I wish yeah. I knew more about Vito. That, that's I, how I'm bad so Vito bad. is. Vito is so bad that people will stop hating on the gun just to uh, unify and to kick him off because. I mean, Vito, yeah. Vito claims he's a pedo. I mean, he claims he's a pedo. And uh, I know I'm, <laughs> I know I'm going to be doing a stream with Axel. But, hey, I even told Axel this. Look, look, here's the thing. I could do a stream with you, brother. Here's the thing. People aren't going to think I'm a pedo. They're not even thinking I'm a CP apologist. Because they know my stance on it. I think pedophiles need to get a bullet to the back of the head. Okay? I think everyone who was involved with that Boku no Piku mm-hmm. shit needs to be rounded up and shot. And I believe that. Okay? <laughs> not even in Minecraft. Okay? Here's the thing. <laughs> I mean, some people have an absolute creep factor, okay? Uh, Axel's one of them, yeah. and then uh, Vito is one of them. Vito looks yeah. like he looks like a pedophile, and he claims he's a pedophile. So it's like, okay. And he claimed he got off to cuties or whatever, loves cuties. It's like, come on now, come on. Yeah, very sick, very sick. And here's the thing. Vito will say, oh, so you're against free speech? You don't like jokes? No, jokes are fine. Jokes are fine. But I don't I don't see what the joke is about you saying cuties is, like, great and you got off to it. What's what's the joke in that? <laughs> I mean, that would be like DJ yeah. Axel, Phantom Organization, saying he got off to Boku no Piku or some furry porn shit. But, like, what's the joke in that? What's the joke in that? I don't know. It sounds like you're admitting something, you know? Uh, but, uh. Anyway, but yeah, I, I do like how they unify to shit on Vito. But do, mm-hmm. do, do, who do you think is worse, Vito or uh, the Gunt? I don't know. I think the Gunt's funnier. I think Vito's just disgusting. And like, yeah, Vito just needs to be put out of his misery. But like the yeah. Gunt, he just, the Gunt is, a, I think, produces more content. Whereas Vito just makes people angry. You know, he's not funny. He just makes you angry. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's he's so. attached to Dax Herrera or Dick Masterson. He's like attached to him. <laughs> Dax. Yeah, he's he's attached to Diddler Dax. <laughs> oh, I wish God. I knew more about the Diddler. I just I just know that like he's associated with Dick Masterson. I I haven't like looked too into his lore. I've been too mm. too obsessed with mm. this gunt, all well, the gunt happenings. You know. I mean, as of right now, it seems like that's the one of one of the bridges that's still available for Ethan Ralph. But I don't know how for mm-hmm. how long. And also, look well, like I mean, the, considering. Oh, good. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I was just gonna say like because uh, because like uh, Dick lied about it, and Ethan now knows that he lied about breaking his arm or leg or whatever. Mm. Like, I the time the clock's ticking before uh, Ralph. Uh, I think like I honestly think that like. 
Uh, Dick Bastion's trying to see how far he can go <laughs> before, before Ralph will just, like, you know, say, fuck you, too, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a matter of time. It's a matter of time. It looked like he was about to do yeah. the same thing with uh, Keemstar. There was a tweet that I think yeah. he, he deleted. He tried to backtrack. I have it here. I saved it, but I think, you know, we could just say it. People are going to believe me. I'm not making this up, and it's very believable, that he was shooting on Keemstar. And, you know, pretty much saying that Keemstar is a brown-nosing Mad Jarbo, you know? It's just sucking sucking on his ass, sucking on his dick, okay? Um, yo, no, that's not what happened at all. In fact, if anything, Keemstar <laughs> was like... Keemstar had some words to say to Matt Jarbo, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, he just... Uh, Ethan is what he is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he walked that one back because he knows he still needs Keemstar for something. That one day it will come. Mm -hmm. It will come. <laughs> Uh, so, there's there's some some level of uh, like like he he knows there's a limit. I think and I think it's based on the value of uh, of his relationships with people. Like like if he feels like he could benefit from, from uh, being allied or being kind of close with somebody, or being friendly with somebody, then he'll keep that friendship. Mm -hmm. He'll keep that friendship for sure. Yeah, for sure. absolutely. Now he, knows, uh, he smells the money. He's a he's a hungry pig. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. But uh, let's see. Other than Duncan on veto, okay. When I don't know too much about Zoom, uh, I know no one trusts him, and he's also a pedophile apparently, uh, an impossible fed. I have no idea. But when he came on, and when King of Pole came on, there's something that they both said that was kind of true. And I'm gonna say something, and maybe some people in the chat are gonna hate this because you know some of the people um, they like particular big guys here, the big A loggers. They like the big A loggers, of, and I'm not saying um, that you have to not like them. What I'm saying is, there is a point when you say that Andy Worski and at one point PPP and all these other people, especially Gator, were sucking the guns dick for a long time. Massive gunt riders, massive gunt mm -hmm. riders, and sucking on that gunt, gunt crease. Wait, when was PVP sucking on the gunt crease? Cause oh, I, the, I okay, don't... okay. There was a, a when PVP first started, he was, in, he was antagonistic towards the gun. Okay, he was going against mm -hmm. the gun pretty hard, but then mm -hmm. he stopped, and it had to mm -hmm. do with T clips. It had to do with mm -hmm. T clips. I don't remember all the drama. I think the chat can can uh, chime in, can help us out a little bit. But I had to do something with T-Clips. I had to do with that. Uh, and they... Oh, man. They had some sort of... Um, pretty much... I don't know. Like an armistice. Like a truce, if you will. Mm -hmm. And and that's when PPP started going after uh, harder against uh, Nick Fuentes and, and other people. And not so much <laughs> on the gunt. Not so much. But, uh, I mean, that eventually changed. As you know, things yeah. do change. Um just so much material yeah. there i don't think he could help himself yeah I, you know it's it's hard not to uh, yeah you really can't shit on the gun and then, <laughs> and then you have surfer surfer who calls in to the kill street wanting oh, to be buddy my. buddies with the gun it's like dude uh, what are you doing bro uh, what are you doing oh surfer he's, he's oh, gonna be an surfer, adonis it's, it's so like sad. dude surfer, it's so sad what's happened with surfer man maybe he has better luck making gator into an adonis than he does uh, ethan ralph Call up Gator, get Gator into your punt the gun program, and uh, <laughs> shape turn him turn him into a man. Make a man out of him. <laughs> oh man, yeah, but, yeah, dude, like it's it's crazy. Uh, the uh, I don't know if you've seen. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, spreading of cheeks going on on the on Surfer's channel. It's been a, it's been crazy. Yeah, yeah, it has been. So, chat, let me ask you this. What do you think about what they said? I know, I know, I know. Don't trust Zoom and don't get close to them. I'm not worried about that because that's not happening. I don't really get close to anybody. Um, all right. So, but what they said, especially Zoom and King of Pole, about how all those guys like PVP, Andy Worski, uh, Ranbot, Gator, Flamingo, were all at one point gun riders, sucking the gun, licking the gun. And now they're a right? Especially Gator. Gator's hands are pretty dirty. <laughs> pretty dirty, right? I mean, it. I I think, I wonder, 
I want to know what you think about this, chat. Okay? Are these people redeemed? <laughs> Are these people redeemed or is the taste of the gun's grease still in their mouth? <laughs> Did they need to wash your mouth more with like Listerine or something for ever, ever clear? Um, jeez, jeez. <laughs> what do you think about that, Tux? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think... I don't know. It depends. I mean, it depends on how much they're riding it. The... I mean, the, the gun carousel. I, I'm a, I'm pretty buddy buddies with F Flam, so I can't. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Him. I'm not asking you to not bro. be for friendly with with Flam. I'm saying I think he would even acknowledge us that there there's there's history there, and you can't change history. Oh, history yeah. is what it is. Oh yeah, no, he's definitely uh he's definitely was buddies, but I, I haven't watched enough of the kill stream to really like give an educated, yeah. uh, like uh, opinion on that because I'm still kind of, I don't know. I it's I've only I kind of came in late because I uh, I haven't really the only like stuff I knew about Ralph was mostly from like the Kumite and stuff because I didn't really uh, I never really watched the kill stream much. <laughs> Some of the chats that have right. Uh, Gator is the just lane uh, just lane just lane just lane to Ethan's Epstein. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> Uh, I want to do a quick thing real fast. I want to shout out some some participants, uh, some people active in the chat. Thank you so much for watching Gun Wave. We still have more to go. Definitely going to talk to Tux about how he got started with Gun 64. Um, Alucard PG, thank you so much. Uh, Arknuka, that's it. Uh, Chine, uh 70 how's it going? Che Anna, hey, how's it going? Duke Dick, James the Fountain, Mr. Man, Tux loves you. I, th I think that's Tux. And War Eagle. Yes. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Uh, we had an amazing stream the other night, uh, Sunday. Thank you so much. Hopefully one day you could top those numbers again. I bet I don't like to worry about numbers. I don't even like to talk about that. I'm sorry. I, I, that's the one thing I apologize for. I hate it when YouTubers talk about their numbers. It's so cringy. It's like whatever, you know, kind of gets to their head, you know, is what it is. Yeah. I just want to have a chat that moves that like I can interact with. Like I don't. Yeah. I don't care. If, well, like, you're gonna uh, get that here. <laughs> you're gonna get that here, <laughs> most definitely. Today was today was like my best day probably ever for uh, you know streaming because I was doing a work stream, and uh, it was really fun because we were like bouncing ideas off of chat, and I was like I was really enjoying that. For it. So uh, it's great. It's great when you have an active chat. It's really mm -hmm. sad when you're streaming to nobody. <laughs> That's really depressing. yeah. But you know what the truth is though? We stream to nobody uh, at the start. That's how you start. You stream to nobody. Uh, in the beginning, mm -hmm. in the beginning, even on Twitch, man, Twitch is hard. That's a whole other mm -hmm. topic. Well, anyway, so Tux, how did you get involved with the Gunt? Did you have a date with yeah, him? I mean, I have a date with him. No, <laughs> I have to ask you. Some Sadly, of the chicks no. before you, they had dates on, or almost had dates. Oh, true. Uh, no, but I, I, you know, honestly, I haven't, and I haven't actually like crossed paths with them yet. Like, I had any direct interaction yet, but I. Uh, I just, I, I think I learned about him just from, uh, like, I really like Jim's videos. And, you know, around the time when Blood Sports was at its peak, I, I kind of learned about Ralph. And that's, you know, I just kind of, he was there. I don't know, he was, uh, he did the Kumite, and I'd, I'd watch that a lot, you know, when it was going. But it's pretty much it. I mean, and then i just been uh, watching him implode, and uh, just been really uh, enjoying, you know, with some popcorn. Yeah, yeah. It is a good show, and in and similar here, like I got involved with uh, Killstream or became a fan of the Killstream because of um, the IBS stuff. And Mr. Medicker did a stream talking about internet blood sports. Um, I yeah. felt like he was speaking right to me. Like hell yeah, that sounds great, dude. I like some Jerry Springer. I want to see some Jerry Springer uh, on the internet on YouTube, and it was good. It was good stuff, but it, it didn't last. It really was. Yeah, they, they uh, flew too close to the sun, and they just had some unstable people <laughs> on I think that it was, program, uh, you know? I think it was Knoxville. Knoxville was, like, the pinnacle. Knoxville was the height. And and when, oh, God, when, when, when Knoxville turned to shit, turned into, a, like, a, a, a circus, after that, what happened? I mean, yeah. are there some... The, the, bowl, the Matt Jarbo flagging stream, that was before Knoxville or after Knoxville? Remind me. Shoot, uh, I'm the wrong person to ask. Damn. I, I usually ask my friends. In, uh, Wait, Zidane was there, server. so I want to say that was before Knoxville. Because after Knoxville, I believe 
uh, if I have my timeline right, that's when Ethan and Andy Worski did their Miami thing. Which I don't think I don't remember Zidane being around around that point. <laughs> you know, he he left. He he was the smart one. Mm-hmm. He was the one who had some sense. That's what I've heard. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, chat's saying before. That's what I'm thinking. That, that's what I'm thinking. That's what that dead air was there. I was looking at, <laughs> at, at what's going on here. <laughs> too too much gay ops with a T. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I do like that. Okay. So that's how you got, uh, you know. Uh, so were you a fan of the kill stream then? And like, would you listen, like, all the time? I no, I, I never really I never really listened to the kill stream much. I mean, maybe a couple times. I, I never would say I call myself a, a big fan, but... I mean, I kind of like the, uh, I think I, I did watch, I watched Worski live a lot more. I really enjoyed the, uh, you know, JF and, uh, <laughs> when the, in the falling out, the, like the, uh, the, J- the brief, JF was funny. Know, relationship with JF and then the breakup with JF. That was, uh, that was a good time. Yeah. I like that. Dude, that dynamic was interesting. Andy Worski, <laughs> who's like yeah, borderline like- retarded and JF, who, uh, comes off as an intellectual who likes to fuck retards. Okay. <laughs> it's like, uh. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting uh, experience. I really liked watching that for sure. <laughs> now, but how did how did you get involved with Gun Sixty Four? How did this project spring up? <laughs> that just happened spontaneously. I mean, I saw like a little bit of gun drama that kind of was like sparked the interest like uh, recently. Uh, so this was within the last month. I kind of got started. And the timing was just perfect. I, I think it might have been. I mean, I think it, no. I, I very much believe it was Providence. Like, like I think it, like it was like, you know, it, it helped kind of springboard a little bit of uh, you know, just fun stuff online. I, 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 I just happened to have a uh, a playable, uh, like, I guess uh, I call it the pre pre Ralpha build, right? I had, I had a playable Ralpha, okay, uh, build of the game. And I was able to, um, you know, I was in talks with Flam, and he was like, "Hey, man, you should definitely release something. Like, we're gonna do a big stream, you know, uh, put, you know, put together a playable demo and like sp- spin up a website." So I did that on um, was this last Tuesday, I want to say, and I put that up there, and it just kind of blew up. It was really fun, dude. It blew up. Um, it but- blew- I hope it. I mean, when you say it blew up, like you're talking about like. Did it was it so much traffic that it, it brought down the website or? Oh no 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 okay. no! I did a good job building the website. <laughs> um, but uh, the uh, no, in my website's really simple, so it's kind of hard to okay. knock it. Knock That's it over. good. I, I used Cloudflare from the beginning, so it's 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 good. It's ready to go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually curious how many hits I'm sitting at. I'm gonna take a look. Yeah, let's take a look at that real fast. Let's see, so my web server. Okay. Uh, let's see, WC. Let me count the uh, number of hits in my access log. We're sitting at uh, thirteen thousand seven hundred eighty-five hits right now on, on my website. You know the so unfortunate I, thing I just, about that is not all of them. I don't think I don't think all of them. Do you think all of them downloaded it? I'd say a good. I'd say a good uh, portion of them did. Yeah. Yeah. I could look. I could look. I could look and just look at the. Uh, if I go into the access log, I can actually like. You can see the downloads. See. I can see which ones hit that um, that URL. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm curious about that because that that's a good it it's a good mod. I mean, I didn't play it all. I don't know if is it is it fully modded like the whole game. No, I'm still working on it. That's why I'm still doing work streams. Okay. Uh, so it's still a work very much a work in progress. But I I got a little just a little playable demo out there just as kind of get people a taste so they could uh, mm. you know enjoy it. Uh, let's see what what is the file name hang on let me just jog my memory on what the uh, file name is on the server the server okay. what would do that I'm gonna get uh, like a, a video of what the game looks like too I'm sure I can play it now if you actually no uh, I don't have great audio pass through on discord so yeah go ahead and play a video <laughs> yeah go ahead and play a video I'm sure I could pull up one thing here mm-hmm I my uh, t- uh, I have a video of you playing it. <laughs> okay. 
Well, none of the videos of me playing it probably have audio unless I do weird things. Oh, yeah. I'm, oh, I'll, I muted the audio for the most part. So that way it, it won't interfere with, uh, you know, with our talk here. Let's see. Yeah. The audio does make it a lot funnier, though. Um, right, the, the videos that do have the game so played. In the game's text already. I think it so should... what's on the screen that, now is... That radio wouldn't be it. Is a... a... Yeah. It's the Food Mart level? So you, you actually, you, you made custom stages for this uh, Gun 64 game. And there's Correct. a Food I'm Mart working, stage. I'm working on it. Yeah. I'm working on it, yeah. That yeah. one hasn't been published yet because it's still a work in progress. But yeah, that was what I was working on today is the Food Mart. Dude, <laughs> so you display your whole work in progress, like live. Yeah, I was doing that today. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got, a, I got a few people. I didn't have a ton of simultaneous view, viewers, but I had a good a good enough chat that I was able to bounce ideas off. It was pretty fun. They had the chat had the idea today to make the um the sign for the clearance of the um like the thing that goes over the gas pumps, yeah, like the canopy or whatever. They had the suggestion to change it from fifteen feet to to five foot one. So I did that. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. <laughs> so I had little Easter eggs like that, and the you know, chat is helping me out today. I so really you just got, man, that. I'm just watching your, your process of doing this. You just got some random image of a, a food mart. Was it the exact food mart or just, just any food mart? Unfortunately, so Andy was too blackout the, that day to uh, to remember the location. Oh, okay. I, I actually asked Andy. I asked Andy, I was like, hey, I know it's a long shot, but do you uh, do you know the uh, location of this uh, this food mart by chance? And he said he didn't. So I instead just picked a random shell station in uh, Florida. So I had enough of... Uh, a thing to go off of on the video to kind of make the sign on the mm -hmm. food mart. So I was just, and then I just modeled the shell pump after some other shell station. So, and I'll probably make an environment around it and stuff. But yeah, that's kind of. And I uh, see, I see Xanax. <laughs> are you, are you gonna get some oh, yeah, berries was, too <laughs> in the game? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm change. I'm gonna put the text. I'm gonna make the text say Xanax Power Plus. Oh, Instead of nitro, V power nitro plus. Oh, okay, on okay. The pumps. So this is cool. That's... Like, man, have you have you modded before? So I've played with so the reverse engineering effort that a bunch of really smart people did of uh, of Mario sixty four. They they kind of did this like a couple maybe two or three years ago. That that effort started, and um. I've been playing with the code a little bit, kind of in my spare time for the last few years, but I haven't been like doing it a ton. Um, but I just had the uh, idea to suddenly do the, uh, yeah, this. So yeah, I've, I've been programming for a long time and doing like computer stuff, like multimedia programming. I've been doing a little bit of Fuck you! You do. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I love that part, man. Like, like, uh, uh, like, I like how I like hearing how you got involved in this because it's it's really interesting to me. I don't know if it's if it's interesting to the chat, but I I, I hope it is because, like, out of all the a logs, like you're, you're like I said before, you're you're doing something that people can actually play. <laughs> you know, people could download this thing and play it and enjoy it, and it does work. It works on parallel. It works on other N64 emulators. It works it on works it works on, the, on a real N64. It works yeah. on N64. You can download this thing. You can play it. All right. So have some fun with it. Like I think, if anything, your your contribution to this is is pretty nice. All right, and 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 like, do you consider yourself an A log? Are you like? I don't know. I mean, I'm not like an active A log or anything. Uh, but uh, you should yeah. be. I mean, you, you should be. Considered. I guess I kind of am. Yeah, one. yeah. I guess I, I mean, am one, but. I mean, I'm more of a, I consider it more of a shit post than an a logging, but you know, <laughs> right? I mean, I just kind of go off of other people's info, but it's I mean, a... I'm not, I'm not usually re like sitting there like archiving streams. I mean, I do it sometimes. So I guess I kind of am an a log, but I'm mostly a shit poster. Oh, someone said try to get oh. AVG in to play it. Uh, Alucard PG said in the chat, dude, yeah, get a angry video funny. game nerd to play this. That that will <clears throat> that will redeem Cinemassacre for a lot of its flaws. But here's the problem, though, James Rolfe. It's gonna be like I don't have time to play that. I have kids. I have a family, <laughs> because that's what he says. I mean, I love AVGN. I mean, it's hard for me to like, like hate on that channel because you know I grew up, grew up. I spend a lot of time watching. You know, angry video game nerd, right, Tex? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, everyone does. Um, and I remember so many fond videos. And every now and then, there's a video that's okay, but it's not like how it used to be. It's just. 
Tux, do you think you can make it happen, though? You think you could? Do you have any Maybe. way to talk to uh, the AVGN guys? I mean, he's not in my in the circle of people that have gotten attention. No, to the game, but, but you know, I did, I second. know. I mean, some through like people I know. Uh, maybe you. Uh, there's a way you could do this, but if you can talk to one of the Screen Wave guys, if you talk to one of the Screen Wave guys, uh, and they're kind of associated with Dick. See, now I, if you want to use that association, you can. All right. I'm just, yeah. you know, <laughs> Diddler Dax Herrera, you know, I don't know if I'd break bread with him or have a drink with him, but if I wanted to use it for an opportunity to get him, to get exposure on a game and do some long, long planning to get AVGN to play it, that's, that's the way you could do it. Or, or you could just uh, directly kind of reach out the screen wave. I'm sure someone can help you with this because this is quite, oh, yeah. quite cool. This is cool. Uh, let me, let I'm me hoping I can get Simple Flips to play it. Um, Simple Flips, he's like a he's like a mod a reviewer and a speedrunner. Hmm. Uh, he's pretty popular. Let me, Anyways, I'm gonna play this I'm play this intro one more time. The part where the gun comes out of the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you! You do. <laughs> Dude. Like, that's the thing, man. You were so spot on on the voices. Like, how did you get all this? I just uh, clipped I clipped out the samples from, uh, you know, from, like, gun clips. Uh, pro shoot them up in Audacity. Sometimes I do a little bit of background noise reduction. But, you know, I'd boost the levels and i just, I'd convert it to the format the game understands. And then I'd build the game with the uh, samples in it. Some of the samples, um, if they were longer than the original Mario sound effect, I'd actually have to go into the code. And I'd have to actually like say, this sample's this long. I'd have to change like a hexadecimal value. So, oh damn! But yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of coding develop uh, required. Like, like well, when I jump into a when you jump into a painting at the beginning of each level at the level select menu. Right. Um, and he says he wants to suck Jim's cock. Um, that, <laughs> I actually had to. Um, so I had to change the uh, length of the sample in the game's code, and then I also had to delay the warp into the level by 15 frames. So yeah. I actually had to change it two pieces of code to get that one to work. I, I let me but, play that part when he goes into a painting, you know, like to suck Jim's cock because they gotta hear it. They gotta James hear it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it right now. Here we go. Okay, he's looking around. That model's pretty good too. Fuck you! <laughs> I wanna suck Jim's cock. <laughs> <laughs> this game is hilarious, man. I, I, I think, completely just I just slurped that <laughs> straight out of a Sunrise Productions uh, video. So I think so you can kind of hear the tuba in the background. If right, you're right. Really close. I think even if I think even someone who didn't know who Ethan Ralph is would find this game funny. I mean, it's so oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I mean, there are people. So in Simple Flips' the server, there I, I you know, I'm, I sometimes I'll ask people for help or some pointers. And most of the stuff I've been able to figure out myself, but there's been a few things that have gotten me stuck. So I'll, I'll sometimes I'll ask some of the ROM hackers, be like, "Hey, yeah. can you help me with this?" And I was like, I show them screenshots of like my, uh, they're like, I like this potato man. <laughs> <laughs> potato man. <laughs> before, before I finished, so the first thing I modeled on his head, on his body was his head. Yeah. And so at first, at first I just had a version of the model that just had, I need to see if I could find a, uh, a screenshot. I need to like make sure I archive this for posterity, but there's a, there's a screenshot of, uh, that I took of just a regular Mario body with this giant. Ethan Ralph head on it. It's fucking <laughs> that's cool. hilarious. <laughs> uh, so that's funny, dude. So so even people who don't know who Ethan Ralph is find this game funny. They find it funny. Oh, yeah. Um they're probably so, uh, dude, so any other feedback regarding that? I mean like especially like when it comes to to the audio samples and all that, like like did you have you received any feedback like dude, this is hilarious. Like like what the hell? Like where did where did you get this stuff oh, from? Oh yeah gotten a lot of love uh i mean i think uh there have been a few suggestions uh like you know things to add uh mm -hmm. people i've gotten a ton of help with uh like a lot of the mods and flams uh discord have been super helpful they're total bros mm -hmm. uh and they've been they've been helping like and some of these people have been giving me like uh it's like samples uh so i've been enjoying that and i have a few people that might want to that might even be helping me collab with music which would yeah. be super awesome hey that'd be cool that'd be cool get get some uh, custom music here That'd be cool. So so far, the only custom music I have is at the the, the title screen. It's the uh, <laughs> I transcribed 
the first few bars of the Sunrise Productions. Uh, yeah, that's what music. that song is. Dun, 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 now I'm looking at the dun, part where you see you find the first boss, uh, the King Bomb or whatever. <laughs> it's freaking Josh Moon. <laughs> That's hilarious, yeah. dude. That's hilarious stuff. My favorite. <laughs> have you ever gone to? There's this one person who's their, their username on the farms. It just cracks me up every time I go to like a Kiwi Farms page and I see this guy's username. <laughs> it's just Noel will become tranny. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's good. So like you know, everyone he's in the got chat. a good sense of humor though. He, he hasn't swept that guy off the site, so you know. Good, so kudos to him for having a so everyone in the right. chat man like if you haven't played this already yourself do so do so it's it's really good man i highly do recommend it i know i'm asking a lot of more like i guess nerdy questions there was a point in my life where i wanted to program and do cool stuff like this too but i hate programming it's it's too i don't know it's like you got to watch out for the fine details and i was not that sort of guy yeah okay um mm. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I do find this to be interesting. I find it to be pretty cool. Uh, I think maybe, a, is there someone in the chat that could, like, make it possible uh, to, like, maybe send it or, I don't know, somehow bring this to the attention of someone who's close to James Rolfe or someone else who could, like, help get this mod out there and known? Um, and, and on that topic, are you... Are you worried about like if Nintendo hears about this? Uh, no, actually, because um, the way I distribute the ROM is uh, I use a binary patch. This is the standard for all ROM hacks. So I don't distribute the full game. You have to patch your own copy of the game yourself. That's, okay. And I I have a guide on how to do that. So, I mean, the worst thing you can do is like take take down some of my videos. But like they right. can't they can't like they can't take down my game. Yeah, like because it's not. I don't. I don't. I don't distribute the full game. Yeah, and that's the workaround. Um, and there's there's a lot of mods out there for a lot of different games. So so yours would just be kind of like them. So it would exist. You don't have to worry. You're not making a profit off of it. You're not selling it. You know. Yeah, I would like to sell merch at some point, uh, and I would like to. I I want to see if this is possible. I think this is possible. I would like to. Maybe have a special order form on the page where 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 you upload your patched version of the ROM, mm -hmm. and then I send you back I send you back a cartridge in in the with box art and everything like oh, okay. a box, like with the game you uploaded. So oh, that'd be I, cool. I would like I would like to see if I can do that if I can get away with that. I would like to I would like to um find a way to actually get cartridges to people like real N64 cartridges when I'm done. Hey, that would be like pretty neat. That would be neat. I don't have a. I don't oh. even have an N64, but I'll I'll gladly, gladly take one or buy one, uh, so I could just have it on the shelf. We want some of the stuff that's on the shelf behind me. Uh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Um, I need to research what the dimensions for an N64 box are because actually all my games I purchased were secondhand because I, uh, <laughs> I we got um I got my N64 after the GameCube came out and you know we were we were poor so yeah I just I had. I had an N64 when all my friends had GameCubes and PS2s. Mm. So, yeah. You know. Yeah. I can relate to that in some way, but more with the Super Nintendo. When I finally got the Super Nintendo, everyone had a PlayStation. And for, but for me, it was like exciting, yeah. but because I had to mow, mow yards to, to get it pretty much. You know, yeah. I, I didn't have a rich mom and dad to buy things for me. So, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Now. Like saying earlier, like I said earlier, uh, the kill stream is live, and Bibble's still there. So, who who would Bibble be? Uh, okay, like could Bibble be the Toad guy? Because I know you have like the Toad guy as a dingo. Is that right? Oh no, Should... it's actually just another Ralph face. I was just oh, that's just another Ralph face. Oh, I thought it was it's just another. Okay. Ralph. You should you should turn Bibble into Toad, okay? Because I think that's appropriate. That Bibble is still. Still with the kill stream. I don't know if he's gonna leave eventually. I don't know. Uh, he might, but like if he wants to be like that, <laughs> I think it's fitting that he be like one of the Toad guys. <laughs> uh, I just wrote it in my notes. I will. Uh, I will. I will consider it. I, I'll see. Uh, is, is this like? Is he? Does he openly like put his face out there, or is it like? Uh, I don't wanna, like. Bibble's a black guy, so I guess just get. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. I don't know how that would work. I'd have, I'd have to actually open the model and make a custom model <laughs> change because um, 
You would so have to what just, happened just black face the toad. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to. I'd have to actually import the. I'd have to import the model in the Blender and like change the the, um, the material colors. So I'd be uh, because uh, there's part of it that has the textured face, and then there are other parts of you know the toad that have uh, that are just like skin color. Okay. Right? Just like oh, geometry. Oh, yeah. I could do that. I could do that. Um. So it'll. I'll put it on my list of things to consider. But it, you know, I have a you lot have a of things. I have a list. lot of custom. A long list of custom levels and stuff to do first, because obviously I really want to do. I'm gonna do the Trash Burger level, which I'm working on now. Yeah. I'm going to do. I'm gonna do the Digibro ho house fight level, of course. I want. Dude, to that's do a gonna be crazy. Level. That's gonna be crazy. The yeah. Digibro house I, fight. I like, do... How are you? How are you gonna do that on uh, like with Mario 64 stuff? Like. Oh, I I have a few ideas. So I was thinking, you know. Like one one of the uh, threads, the Kiwi Farm threads, because they're not stars anymore. They're Kiwi Farm threads. Um, would be um, would be like the first time he uh, he goes to the ha yeah the first time he goes in and like fights. Or like maybe the first one would be like them grabbing stuff from the front of the yard, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, then the next one would just be like uh, him him going into the house and like fight brawling for the first time. And then, like, the second one would be like, oh, shit, I forgot my phone. And he does it again, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, uh, then, you know, maybe um, the, the one after that would be... I don't know. And then, of course, every uh, level, I, I want to have, you know, eight red trash burgers. So there'd probably be some parkour, you know, on the roof of the house or something to, uh, to you know, collect the trash burgers. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay. So, like... In, in the boss level, I guess I, I mean, I'm thinking somehow you have it where uh, one of the characters is like, you, you, you uh, what is it? You're five one. Be like, you know, you barge into the house. Do I look five one to you, bitch? <laughs> and yeah. Then, and then you start oh the yeah. Fight. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. No, but, I'm, but I'm you'd definitely have to, like you'd, one... you'd have to win that fight though. You couldn't be like, <laughs> like, like in real life where Ethan got knocked out or got pushed out. You'd have to actually win. Yeah. That's cool. Well, I mean, it doesn't have to win-win. I mean, he just he just has to complete whatever conditions are necessary in the code to uh, give a star. So you yeah. could still get blown the fuck out, and you could still get your star as long as you like put it in. Oh yeah, effort. okay, yeah. makes sense. Because that's but, what the yeah, there definitely has to be some after there. That's what that game is pretty much like. Every level, you just get a star and and, and you leave, right? Yeah. Kinda, yeah, yeah. Oh, someone I asked in the chat is uh, PPP Bowser. No. uh... I haven't decided where I'm going to fit PPP in. He's okay. definitely going in the game. Uh, but Bowser, I want to make... Uh, so I want to make the... Uh, his main enemy in the game is alcoholism. So, okay. Uh, and uh, so he'd be fighting bottles of Maker's Mark. <laughs> for the boss. For those boss he's, um, he's fighting I'm, his own I might demons. Make, <laughs> I, might, I might make the... Uh, I might make the last one either like an AA meeting and or, and or Medicare. But like yeah, Dude. the first two, the first two Bowsers, I have them earmarked for being uh, Maker's Mark. <laughs> earmarked for Maker's Mark. Yeah. Okay, does does Mario sixty four? Do they have a? Because I, I didn't really play that game growing up. Uh, is there like a? I know there's a ghost boss, but is there like a a skeleton boss? I don't think so. Oh, man, because I'm wondering if you could turn him to turn him into like a Mister Mediker, a cancer patient, or whatever. <laughs> 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 I. I know that, uh, I mean, yeah, the hardest thing is going to be making custom enemies. Uh, mm, yeah. That's going to be where probably the, the biggest chunk of the time is going. I mean, doing custom levels is uh, is, is uh, not easy either. But it is, uh, I don't know, the, um, yeah, again, like the, um, there's going to be a few things about the custom um, enemies. Like, I don't think the C code will be too hard for me, but um, mm. modeling, uh I have a uh, really, you know, I have to learn how to do what's called armatures in Blender, where you had like little okay. points, like yeah. bones to your model. That's, that's real technical and, uh, stuff, but yeah, I mean, it, and this is cool. This is cool because like you have I'm to learn that stuff. Blender, yeah. And, and that's the thing about this, like, like you, you are taking this uh, shit post to a whole other level. Like most people just create is, memes and they put it out this there. This is like super autistic shit posting. It this is, is like super autistic shit posting, but it's cool though. I mean, like, yeah, if, yeah. And here's the thing, Tux. If you have other priorities that are greater, you know, more important, like you know, your other things in life, definitely, you know, part of me is like, don't invest so much on this. Maybe you should like focus on your life too. But this is hilarious. Okay, this is oh, great. Yeah. 
Um, so the day, uh, what's really funny, so the day that uh, the website, I, I put up my website, the day that it blew up when Flamenco, you know, like, dropped, it was like, it like showed it off to Andy Worski and those other guys and they were like laughing their asses off. I was actually doing exams that day. So when I, so I took like, a, like an hour and a half or so, I took a break in between two exams and I spun up the website before the stream just in time for the stream. <laughs> and then I went back to the exam, so I couldn't even watch the stream. So I didn't even get to watch uh, Andy Worski and then like crying, laughing, <laughs> play, you know, looking at my game in real time. Mm. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it is. It is taking a lot of your time, but but you uh, can prioritize and you'll just get, you know continue work on it. I'm sure. Um, yeah. Is there is there? Let's see. I think the chat was having some fun with um, you know who's going to be what enemy in the game and a PvP Bowser. So you said that's going to be like alcoholism. So it, it, it could be a bottle of Maker's Mark. Maybe it could be uh, uh, I don't know, Mister Mediker. I mean, that would be a final boss for sure. What about what about uh Monday Matt? Who could Monday Matt be? He's gonna he's gonna be in there. I I haven't decided yet because again, also <sighs> there are gonna be a lot of levels that are custom. So yeah. it's it's really I mean it's gonna be like I don't know. I mean Monday Matt. Maybe I might just make Monday Matt like a minor enemy or a boss in a level I don't do. I don't like completely customize. I sure. haven't decided yet. Sure. I mean he definitely needs to be in there somewhere. Yeah. So I just haven't decided where. Mm. So yeah, oh. that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then you include like Surfer, um, <laughs> and, you know, have a Surfer, have Andy Worski in there somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Surfer might make it. I mean, Surfer might make it uh, as like a as like an Easter egg. Mm. But he's not like he's not nearly as. I mean, I love. I mean, you know, I I have nothing but uh, <laughs> but uh, you know you know res well I don't know the Surfer. Is, I, I love Surfer, but like. You know, he's kind of a in terms of gun history, he's kind of it's kind of more of a footnote compared yeah. to you know his uh, his uh, former roommate. So, and just remember, I whatever you decide to place the enemies as, there's going to be some people be like, oh no, that person should have been the final boss because right now there, there's there's disagreement, I'm sure, about who the final boss should be. Maybe some people say, oh, it could be Monday Matt because he got the last hit, but that stuff changes. You know, just put them in wherever. Because here's the here's the yeah. reality. As someone plays this game, if they haven't played Mario sixty four like forever, they're probably gonna die to. <laughs> I mean, they're probably gonna end up dying to like uh, a Goomba at one point or a bomb at one point. I don't know. If, yeah. Hell, just make Monday Matt into one of the Koopa Troopas, and uh, I'm I'm sure there's gonna be some playthroughs where people just die from that, and, and they'll find that hilarious. They'll have a good time. Yeah. You know? Well, it's it's funny because the sound effects the sound effects are like you know Ethan Ralph's like actual screaming. <laughs> He's like ah. When he gets hit, <laughs> oh, dude, I love should... the custom like uh, fire sound effect. He's like, you should have the rattling. I, like loop the rattling. Oh, should... The rattling has to be in there. The rattling. Oh yeah, the rattling to... pill bottles will be there. So I'm thinking like either you know that might be part of the gym gym boss fight, or it'll be like if there, if I make a flamenco enemy, there will be some rattling pill bottles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This is good stuff. This yeah, is no, good. It's gonna be in there now. Yeah. So All right, let, me, let me grab my Vivance bottle. Hang on. <laughs> We're gonna chat. Get, grab your bottles. Grab your bottles. Uh, everyone, shake your bottles. And in the chat, you can participate by throwing pills on the stream. I want to see emotes. All right. Spam the chat with emotes. All right. Let's do that. I've been neglecting you guys. I know you hate it when I do that. That's why you hate co-hosts. It's not you. It's not you, Tux. It's me. <laughs> Smile. Okay. Final boss is Ralph. He clips said he defeats himself. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Oh, well, one last question about this, and then I want to talk about the uh, the implosion of, um, I guess Ralph's like, I guess, kill stream followers and you know fans and all that. Um, who's the princess? They're so like, is it going to still up in the air? I mean, there's so many potential suitors, right? Like, yeah, you have Pansu, Faye Faye Faye, Nora. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't don't do Nora. Don't do Nora. She's she's don't 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 rope her into it. Don't don't. Oh no, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not, I yeah. didn't have any really uh really desire to put Nora in here. Yeah, that's yeah, good. I that's good. Run, that's run good. Through the mud. You but, should definitely uh, put Pansu <laughs> in there though. I like how you put Alice. Oh yeah, no, the Pansu. I like how Alice was in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, Alice and Pansu are already kind of are in are on paintings and in, in stained glass oh, windows. Oh, there's already. something else too. I didn't realize when I was playing it until later. Uh, when I was in the first level doing the the cannon thing, you. So what is what is the skybox? It is a picture of like Ethan Ralph and there's like Faith. There's like Faith so, is like. Hold on, let me let me play. Let see, me put this on the screen so, so they can see it. See if I can find the uh, the meme that it, I, I down resed. You just stole like a meme off the internet of like a solar system with orbits. Like it's it's actually like not something I made. I mean I docked oh, it a ton. See, and there she is. I there she is. Did remove, I removed Gator's face from it, but uh, I've actually talked to Gator since, and I, he said I could like put him in the game, so I might put <laughs> Gator's face back on it because uh, I talked to him in VC. It looks face, hilarious. Uh, oh, it yeah, kind of it, it kind of actually good. made that cannon part. Um, doable because as someone who played oh, yeah. this game i was like what am i supposed to do here i was about to rage quit but i was like okay yeah. that that meme is keeping me playing that's fine that's fine dude I, I... Well, he also says he says fuck you every time you you launch him it's great yeah <laughs> the songs, like the sound effects honestly i don't think i can go back to playing stock mario 64 ever again yeah the sound, sound effects, effects are great it's so much more fun <laughs> like like seriously i mean i've been like there was a little while there where i was just playing like with the pre-ralph was worth of content like i did a few like runs you know like 30 31 star like playthroughs you know like yeah. just, and, and like, it's like every enjoying. jump every time he jumps he says fuck and fuck you it's like you, you really you really captured the rage pig you did a great job yeah. on that. Like this is Rage Piggy. Like he he cusses yeah. every time he jumps. <laughs> I really I really uh, owe a ton of a great you know debt of gratitude to uh, people like Sunrise Productions and others that like have have really compiled like the best moments and reminded me because I mean I, I watched a lot of these blow ups you know in the long long ago or but like uh like seeing having them compiled and you know and like reminding me of them you know and like nice little compilations and clips is like that's super helpful like it's it's great also it makes it a lot easier to find them because uh you know sorry josh the uh the search function on your website is dog shit yeah it, it is pretty <laughs> like, bad it is pretty bad like i i really um if i wasn't working on gun 64 i'd probably be bugging him to let let me help him with uh oh, oh, oh there's something that the chat project. wants me to ask too and chat oh yeah chat are there questions you want me to ask Tux? If you want me to ask Tux questions, tag me in the questions. Or if you want to, you can super chat, but you don't have to. Okay, everyone's grifting. Okay, but you don't have to do that. Okay, only only give money if you have money to to give. Okay, or I'm not, send, send send money to at Tux loves. I'm not going to be anti Kino and tell you and shame you into <laughs> into uh into you know giving money. That's stupid. I'm not going to do that. That's dumb. <laughs> you gotta give dead man money. You have to. <laughs> no, 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 no. I told, I told you grossly. To. I told grossly. If I ever get to get to that level, I, I need you to take me down. <laughs> take me down. <laughs> yeah, get in it. Get his mask on and just like yeah. do a nice like uh, just like take down stream. Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. That'd be good. Um, yeah. Any questions you want me to ask? Tag me and make sure uh, make sure well, it gets addressed. But they they asked they someone in the chat was like, so uh, does Tux want to you know with Josh? No, he's too fat. Does, does Tux <laughs> want to have intercourse? <laughs> you mean? I said no, too, no, too fat. Too fat. Okay. <laughs> is is there is there a problem people. with weight? Are you are you fat shaming Noel? I'm incredibly I'm incredibly fat phobic. Yes. Fat phobic, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, okay. uh, I'm very ableist in that way. Okay, are you, despite being a, an autist, is is there a reason for that? I don't know. I'm just are you worried he might just, suffocate you if he was on top of you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm being no, real I here. Just, you I, think it's a joke, but I'm, I'm asking I, like, <laughs> I am not attracted to fat people. I think most people would, you know, or you know, just haven't you seen the recent uh, Sports Illustrated? Where they put the 300 pound land well right there for everyone to see, that that's that's the new America. That's the new beauty. I, I can't even say that with a straight face. Someone someone has a someone had a question in the chat there. <laughs> oh um, uh, gold. Oh dude, would you do a golden gun 64? Uh, that'd golden be gun. They're working on reverse engineering that game, so um, I could probably stand on the shoulders of giants and maybe make that happen. Uh, mm. Let's see. So uh, I forget how far along that is, but I know that o Ocarina of Time—they're working on reverse engineering. That 
so that's still a, a thing. Uh, so maybe, maybe, maybe there could be a, a, a Golden Gun 64, but I really, <laughs> I really, really want to uh, finish this, of course, first. Now, have you heard of a game? <laughs> have you heard of a game called um, the Maximum uh, what, Maximum Hardcore Maximum Action? I believe it's called Maximum Action. I have not. It's a Maximum it's a, Action. It's a it's a first person shooter. Um, it's a it's a kind of a retro style shooter. Um, it kind of looks it looks like N sixty four graphics. It really does look <laughs> like N sixty four graphics. Uh, that might be something. I mean, if I don't know if you want to explore that one t uh, one day. I mean, they have a pretty g yeah. It's called Maximum Action. I'll I'll, I'll share that with you uh, pretty soon um, afterwards. They have a modding community, yeah. but they need a better modding community. And honestly, if you put in some gun stuff in there, that they would probably love it. <laughs> It'd probably make it better. So the problem is that skinning a game like that would be too easy. See yeah. these N sixty four games. I don't know if you realize this. Any little change, even changing a sound clip, requires recompiling the whole game. Because the way the game is built, it's one giant like by it's like one big binary that has uh like everything it's all built together like there's not it's not like there's some folder you can just like let me just switch out assets no 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 mm. no. you got to recompile the game or you got to patch the rom with the rom hacking tool ah, one see. of those two i i chose to do the decomp i mean you chose a hard option thing. i mean you could have just done like super mario world and had like <laughs> i don't know you, this is this, way more fun this, this is my this era is, of games yeah this, this is, is funny though this is funny yeah. this is good this is good yeah. okay you had some other questions here uh oh is tux currently believe, single are you single i am currently single look at that singe halo look at that. Those, you you got a date you got into it. those dms that's right that's right um and shanae uh said is so tux is not into mr dead man uh, i don't think so i'm like um I am 6'2 and weigh 240. So I'm kind of on the fat <laughs> no. side. Kind of on the fat side. Uh, now things are awkward between us. Because now now I think... Yeah, you now, totally now, ruined the vibe. Now I know you're not weird. into me. And now there's no chance. I know. The mystique. The, uh, yeah. The only yeah, reason why I had the like girls on before you is because I thought there was a chance. So. Yeah. Damn it. No, yeah, but, you thought, you know, put the girls on first, make me jealous, yeah. One thing I wanted to ask you um, is, are you aware of how, I guess, the Killstream fans are handling this, this uh, I guess, fallout after the... Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, they, a lot of them have turned, tra turned traitor and just come, yeah. you know, come over yeah. to the dark side. It's, yeah, it's been fun. It's crazy. Like, like the, the leaked uh, messages from his, I guess, Instagram and uh, Discord and whatever things... It's really showing that they're kind of like at a, kind of like a, like, like, I mean, civil war. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of, it seems extreme to say, but yeah, people, people I are imagine, leaving. Like, surely there have been a few A-logs that have just been like giving like a little pittance just to like get in the inner circle, right? Like, Dude, I'm even, sure that there are. Even today, even today, right now, um, earlier during the kill stream, people were, of course, giving them the $3 uh, dono saying, how many flags, how many flags, Ralph? Answer the question. How many flags? Okay, of course you have Bibble in there cleaning stuff up like like a good house nigger will. Uh, Bibble, what are you <laughs> thinking? Bibble, what are you thinking? Like, dude, that is now he, he he's gonna be the biggest gun sucker. He yeah. is. I mean, I mean, who saw that coming? Who saw that coming? Right. I think we. I think a lot of people thought that Gator would be in it to, till the end, till the bitter end. Uh, but right. Gator After all the stuff all he wrong. did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gator, Gator saw the light and Gator is now uh, a bro now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He is. He's now one of us. It's, it's going to take time for a lot of us to turn around on him. You know, like um, here, here's how I am. Like I'll be friendly with him. I think it's funny. Um, of course, he knows what he did. He knows what he did is fucked up. He knows he stayed around and people did some fucked up shit. When I say people, I mean Ethan Ralph. He knows he did some fucked up shit on behalf of Ethan Ralph. Um, and did little to nothing to stop it. But now he's on our side. So it's kind of like, all right, just let it go. Just let it go. Yeah. It's done. It's done. You know, I, I, I think some people who just want to get their licks in on him and then it'll mm. be fine. <laughs> you know? So, and, and you kind of saw that too on that, in that stream when... Keemstar got on and people were asking Gator like why why were you still with them 
You weren't even getting paid, yeah. bro. Like, what the hell? What the he hell, man? He does it for man? free. He does it for free. <laughs> he was my friend. We were friends. Yeah, that's you, that's the thing that makes that's... me so sad. I actually like feel so bad for the band because it's like, like he's just like you know like he's like I thought he was my friend. That, and he probably sad. actually did. Wrong. He has to. That, that's the only. Yeah. That's the only theory that makes sense to me that Gator actually thought he was yeah. a friend. No. And sometimes you stand by your yeah. friend even when they do stupid shit. Yeah, that makes me uh, that makes me kind of sad. That makes me like, yeah, yeah. yeah feel bad for him for sure. But like, yeah, oh, well, but of course right now things are. Of course, currently imploding, as as to be expected. You have more people, uh, more people leaving the kill stream. More people, uh, I guess, more former fans coming out saying, "Ethan, what what you are doing is absolutely stupid." Like like you you're taking mm -hmm. this to you don't need to do this. Like stop. Like like no, you know, stop doing it. Uh, threatening mm -hmm. to ruin Gators live and all this. Like they're not part of that. Yeah. But then if you look into the messages, you still have gun guards. Uh you still have gun cards. Wait, I saw. I found the uh, the meme that I use uh, to. So I'll send that to you. In oh, you DMs. are a little autistic, aren't you? <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you. Yes. Uh, in that, uh, I'm kind of the same way. Where if like if I'm fixated on something, I can't stop until uh, until it's it's done. Um, yes. Yeah. I'm but done. also, yeah, the meme. I finally found the meme for the skybox. I, I just sent it to you, so you can enjoy that. That's what I based it on. Oh, okay. I'll, I should probably credit that Kiwi Farms user somewhere in the end credits or something. Yeah, if you guys haven't beat the game, there I did change the the end screen even on the even on the pre ralpha So even though a lot of the levels haven't been done yet, there is the the uh, the end of game street screen is different. So enjoy yeah, that. So it's this one right here, the one with the <laughs> the one with Vickers. Which Vickers looks so much yeah. like Ethan Ralph, it's crazy. Like Yeah, he's got like the spectacles. He's got the like, You know, I didn't catch belt. I didn't really catch the stream with Cog and, and Vickers. I don't know if Cog actually asked him what he thought about his daughter choosing someone who looks kinda like him. <laughs> because I would, oh. I would I would ask that question. I would ask that question, which is why uh Matthew Vickers probably would never come on Guntwave. <laughs> And well, maybe maybe he would. Maybe we could have a conversation about uh, fatherhood. <laughs> maybe we, I'll ask him. Hey, you want to have a conversation dad, about right? fatherhood? I'm a dad. I'm a dad. I have two yeah. kids, and I'll tell him straight up. Uh, and people already know this. I'm a social worker too. I work with families, and uh, I work with a lot of families where there's like 13 year olds, 14 year olds who are on Discord, unsupervised, and they do stupid shit. I tell them straight yes. up, no. You tell them no. You tell that daughter, you tell that yep. son of yours, yep. get off that shit. Or you monitor yeah. everything you can, like like your communist China. Because that's that's that is the mm -hmm. only the only way. That's the only mm. way. That's yeah. the only way. I'm yeah. amazed I made I'm so glad I grew up before Discord, because I totally yeah. would have fallen into some really weird shit, much weirder than I already did. I can't even imagine. So yeah, this this was a hilarious meme. <laughs> this was. Uh, what I wanted to show too is uh, I think it was. Oh, it's by uh, this it's by Kiwi Farms user Funk Funk Master. So uh, you're good. You're, you're there, good. Funk you even. Master. That's why the farms I think doesn't really like me too much because I don't I I fail to give credit not because I don't want to but because I forget I forget to write down the name or remember the name. If I don't do that, I'm gonna not even. They probably don't like that. Maybe I can change. I have that. a giant notes file, uh, <laughs> so I, I need to. I have like a giant like notes like document that I have for this game no. that I've been one, kind of like adding to. So. One message I wanted to talk about real fast is is not only do you have people that are still gun guarding and saying that you know pretty much essentially that Ethan Ralph is isn't in the clear isn't in the right by trying to ruin Gator's life. You have that. You also have people. That I think are feds that are like clearly Probably. it's like this this post here is like uh no I don't think so uh, I guess by him it says uh, I get you guys don't like him but you guys already made that clear why is it still happening most of us in here talk about the latest debate or white nationalism or make fun <laughs> of blacks <laughs> why is it or so important the black <laughs> why is it so important to keep posting about how you guys hate this retard we got it. I promise you that we all hate it now, but let's move on. And 
it's like, hey, fellow kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, fellow kids, really? let's talk about uh, Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Hey, fellow racists, yeah. let's talk about how much we hate the blacks. <laughs> let's talk about how much we hate yeah, the black people at the next PTA meeting. Yes. Like, yes. Come on, buddy. So I don't know if that was a if that was a joke post or what, a shit post, but uh, I don't know. Like, shit post. So maybe maybe there's actually some um some feds watching this shit. <laughs> Guys, let's get on topic here. We need to get on topic because we need to plan the next op. All right. <laughs> yeah, really. All right. All right. We need oh, yeah. to have a really productive PTA meeting. <laughs> right. Right. So so you have that happening. You have the people who are still defending, or you have the people that are turning coat and pretty much giving Ethan Ralph hell, okay? Letting him know that what he's doing is fucked up. Then you have people that are gun guarding. Then you have people who are just like, I guess they leave and then they don't want anything to do with it, which is fine. Uh, and then you have this. You have people who, I guess, are um, uh, glowing. Glowing. So it is uh, interesting. Interesting to see. I'm very curious what's going to happen um, later on this week. I'm sure mm -hmm. the gun is going to do something and... Which means I'm gonna have more material to cover next week, and hopefully maybe some merch. It's the only reason why I didn't talk anything mm -hmm. about merch is because we already spent an hour talking about Ethan Ralph, and I don't want to spend another hour doing this. I, I you know, I have work tomorrow. <laughs> you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay. Any uh, any last thoughts about um, Ethan Ralph, the gun, uh, the kill stream, or uh, Gun Sixty Four before uh, uh, we end this? Well, uh, other than show for shekels, uh, I mean, you know, again, uh, you know, at Tux loves you on Venmo if you ever want to help me out a little bit. Yeah, uh, do that. You know, I'm cur currently going to school and uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not currently working, so you know, every little bit helps uh, there. It does. It does. It does. It is uh, very expensive. Very expensive. Oh. But also, uh, y you can you know follow at Tux loves you on Twitter <laughs> if you haven't yeah. already. <laughs> Do that, too. Do uh, that too. Yeah. And everyone get a copy of this game. Just download it. It's free. Um, yep. I mean, if you just find a way to get a legal copy of Mario 64, <laughs> I'm sure you could find many ways <laughs> yeah, to do wink, that. Yeah, wink, wink, wink. Yeah. Yeah. All sorts of legal ways. And then uh, just get the mod, mod it. It walks you right through. It's very simple to do. If you can operate Discord, you can do it. It's very simple. And in. And yeah, enjoy. it's much easier even than Discord. Yeah, it is, and it's fun. And you get to hear him say "fuck you" every time he long jump. It's awesome. <laughs> yes, yes, and it's worth it. All right, it's so satisfying. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Gunt Wave. Uh, y'all, y'all take it easy.